This is the guy to Georgia Outdoors, and this is a special episode. This episode marks the one year since I've been doing this channel. I've made, I don't know, maybe 40 videos I've posted this year. Uh, I've seen the channel grow, 538 subscribers as of making this video. I would love to see it go higher, so if you're watching this, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I've been putting in the effort, so I'm hoping to see this channel grow. This is also a special video because my buddies are coming in. A year ago, this video we made one, a duck hunting with the boys video. All my buddies came up that I've been knowing for 20, 30 years. They're gonna be up here in just a little bit. We're going duck hunting tomorrow morning, then we're gonna try the geese, and who knows what the day may bring. We got about an hour before dark, so we possibly may go to a field this afternoon and see if we can get a hog or a deer or something to come in. Deer season goes out Sunday, today's Friday. But otherwise, I'm looking for a great weekend. Thanks for uh, watching the videos and please, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. Let's have a good weekend. Get, get, yeah, get real close. Right here. Wow. Maybe not quite that close. Okay. Right here. Right here. <laughs> We're about four or 500 yards off of Brian and Bailey. They're down here in the corner. We're not with them at a time. We're waiting on them to give us a go ahead. But we sitting here and just had four or five deer. Don't know what they are, but... Had about five of them come in downwind of us so they can't smell us so as long as we stay still they're not they might walk up right into our back pockets well something just happened because that just put the fear of god in my eyes just jump man oh man i just uh, hockey my pants I, I believe i just crapped by too <laughs> guys if you couldn't quite follow along what was going on we were at a distance bailey and brian were further down uh, we're watching the field. We can kind of see what's going on. They're contacting us by text. Josh was doing an interview when they shot. About scared the uh, crap out of him. But we're going to see if they uh, contact him. Yeah, probably, probably move him. Probably going to spook him if you walk um, in up on him. Tell us what happened. All right, so we were trying to get some hogs in. And five deer came out. And, of course, it's legal to shoot deer right now. So uh, we put old trigger on them. Old and uh, it was it was visibility was tough what an ideal setup wind was blowing out towards him uh he had to shoot standing off the shooting sticks but apparently he made the yeah he connected I, hey what did i say on the way over here oh um, lord here we go i don't miss <laughs> no oh, my lord <laughs> yeah. and that's right. a pretty good shot and hey you tell me how that deer carried that 300 mag that far that's and with that old shot heck of a deal you, ne you never doubt it. I never doubt it. When these you, boys start, I'm yeah, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Brian. What, what were they brother. saying back there? Uh, what were they saying? You, the typical stuff. Uh, he can't hey, shoot. Hey. We had Brian behind the trigger. So your guess is as good as ours at this mm -hmm. point. Hey, uh, Drew. Are you kidding me? Have you me? been buying your camo at City Trends? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> he's been, Ralph Lauren, the new urban. <laughs> he's been, he's been shopping at City Trends. All right, guys. Uh, Brian, you killed him. You drag him. Yep. Well, isn't this a road? Can't we just yeah. drive down here? No, uh, this road's <laughs> off limits. <laughs> One thing we are going to do is eat well. That's never up for debate. Uh, so you see we got the peppers and the onions cooking up here. See these dogs? Homemade sausage dogs. Uh, if you look at our video we watched when we killed the big boar a few nights ago, this is him. We went ahead and processed him ourselves, and what better thing to do with them than feed them to some of your best friends. The guys are in there uh, cooking. Y'all are in there cleaning. I think this is already a good start to a uh, end of the year weekend. What do you think? It is definitely mm -hmm. good to go hog hunting and get, <laughs> get a doe instead. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Uh, and just for the people out there, we still got two days of deer season left. So this yeah, is uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is nice. Very completely nice. legal too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We don't do anything shady out here. Maybe that one right there does, <laughs> but uh, not not the rest. No, of no. <laughs> it's about 6:30. We're getting ready to go in the woods. It's hot. What's it? How hot is it out here, Robbie? 64. I love it. 64 degrees in January. Come on, man. Give me a break. These insulated waders are not the uh, ideal thing for this morning. But we're about to get in there. Hopefully, we'll get a few ducks. I got two guys to my left, two guys to my right. Hopefully a few ducks will come in. It is extremely cloudy, so the flight time may be a little bit late. And it's warm, but we're hoping to get a few ducks. Hear them, boys. Y'all be ready. Hear them circling. Look this way. I heard two of them come up.
Hang up, boys. Over you, Brian. Brian. blind we uh, killed two ducks this morning not great but we didn't have a whole lot come in got the decoy set up I've been doing a little calling I can hear the geese off in a distance I can tell they're in their roosting pond and we're waiting ready for them to uh, make a break for over here and we're in position we got two blinds set up we've got one two we've got six shooters plus a cameraman so hopefully in just a few minutes we'll have some geese coming in Now get cover good, stay Don't still, tight. No. no. By cover good. No, they'll, they'll circle around. 25 of them. We all fired three or four shots apiece. Kill about two or three. There's going to be some ridiculous bird claiming going on. Tell me when to cut them, Tell Blake. Tell me when, Blake. Cut them. So we had two come in right in range. They spotted us at the very last second and tried to cut. So we fired, we basically carpet bombed them. We fired about 20 rounds at two birds and just overwhelming force, we were able to take down one. But we can hear more uh, calling out. So hopefully we can do a little better shooting. had a group coming in man it looked like they were about to come in and I'm pretty certain they saw Ryan Ryan just was standing out kind of like a sore thumb I don't want to put the blame on one person but if you had to put the blame on someone who would you put the blame on and well, they the guy they saw Ryan okay what about you Josh yeah, I would have to I'd have to venture to say it was Ryan also yeah. so you heard it guys it's Ryan there they are oh <laughs> Move your eye, you're moving, man. We can try to cut them or not. No. Does it look like it's in the Cut them! And another one! Oh, <laughs> already! Only two went down! I know I hit them! Dang! All right, so I got that oh, one. There we go, another one. I hit that one too. <laughs> <laughs> so did two of them go down right here in the water? One yeah, one, the one fell down over there. So we got one, yeah, we got four of them. And mine fell down on the other side of the thing. Hey, now, I don't doubt Brian might have hit two, but he called two well before that one ever even went down. <laughs> I saw him flinch. <laughs> All right, so Brian killed the deer, he killed both dogs and three of the four he geese. Killed the, he killed the four geese with three rounds. <laughs> <laughs> shot a total of four shots I wounded a duck but I definitely dropped one of them big goose I shot at both of the ducks but I'm pretty sure Brian got those uh, but confirmed I did kill one of the geese so I definitely got a shot on, on all the ducks and all the geese I can guarantee you I at least killed one duck and uh, I think I got two of the geese I'm pretty positive I got one goose I know I didn't shoot any ducks because I was on uh, dry land but uh, with this group there ain't no telling who killed it. Yeah, this is the easiest way I can say it. Don't believe anything else you hear until right now. 
when I pulled the trigger, stuff hit the dirt. That's all there is to it. I'm not gonna say they're lying, but if everybody killed what they just claimed to have killed, we killed 32 geese and about 17 ducks, and that is not the case. We ended up with four geese, two ducks. Brian killed a deer last night. Overall, it was a great weekend. I love hanging out with these guys once a year. The weekend's over. Always a lot of fun hanging out with my buddies who I've known forever. Got to send them home with some meat this year. Um, Brian went home with, he had the horseshoe up his tail. He got to go home with a deer and some goose. But overall, another great weekend and can't wait till next year. <laughs> this has been the unofficial and no doubt incomplete. Guys, enjoy the outdoors. outdoors. <laughs>